could hear a faint trickling sound like water. What was that? Hmm. So many pipes everywhere. It must be some kind of sewer system. <gasps> the exit! Yes, finally! I have found the exit out of this nightmare. <laughs> Who am I kidding? It isn't the end, only the beginning. I have managed to escape though. I have managed to escape from the house as well as caves. But to what end? Where will I go after escaping? And what is this on the floor? A kitchen knife. Covered in drying blood. Thinking about it made me sick. I didn't even want to touch it. Did I take the knife? How about no? I still had the old handgun. I wasn't sure what good a knife would have been. Hopefully, good sir, Mr. Rage, you did check whether the gun is actually loaded or not. A gun is definitely more powerful though than a knife. I guess if I had left behind the knife, I could have tried to grab myself. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I guess if I had left behind the gun, I could have tried to grab myself this bloody knife. Both pretty much make it seem like I am the murderer. But the handgun kills more efficiently. This is so weird. When will I need to use this handgun? No! No 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 Am I dealing with a human being or a monster here? The door was locked. There was a musty smell from inside. But where did that loud noise come from? Am I gonna die? Is somebody onto me? Hello? This is the exit, eh? There was a rusty ladder sunk into the water which smelled disgusting. I knew I couldn't climb down that. Maybe I could find a way to drain the putrid water. Sounds reasonable. Let's find some kind of drainage control system. This could lead to something. Hmm. I wasn't sure, but I thought it was some kind of regulator. I had no idea how it worked. <laughs> Knowing my luck, toying around with this will probably cause the entire area to become flooded. And I do not wish to drown. Goodness me, that would be horrifying. Through the dust, I could see handprints from previous use. Probably from whoever worked in those sewers. Oh dear, I can't avoid it, can I? Nope. Wealth number one. Should I turn this? I thought I could turn this water wealth to shut off its flow. Did I turn it? Yes, of course. <coughs> Looked like I turned off the water flow in this wealth. Yes, I most certainly did. Can I descend the ladder now? What about wealth number two? The wealth was still active. Did I turn it again? I guess what could possibly go wrong? <coughs> Looked like I turned off the water flow in this wealth. Beautiful. 
could of course be that I am causing some kind of terrible disaster to take place by shutting off the water flow within these pipes. But I don't care. I am I, I am losing it here. I am panicking. I am just doing what any what any uh, frightened person would do. Ladies and gentlemen, we have turned off the entire waterfall within this section of the sewer system. Was it a smart move? Absolutely no idea, quite frankly speaking, I have no idea what the hell I am doing anymore. At the beginning, it was mysterious, alright, trapped inside a large unknown house with a dead body. But now I am trying to escape through the basement, the caves, the sewers? This is growing more and more abstract by the minute. Now, where does the exit happen to be at again? Don't even want to find out what's behind in this door. A musty smell. There are probably bodies everywhere. I am so out of here. Goodbye, sewer system. What about now? Okay. Looked like the water drained out of that grate in the wall. Hmm. There was a small metal key left floating in the shallow pool of rancid water. Did I take it? Could this key perhaps open up the uh, very door from upstairs? With the musty smell coming from beyond it? Huh. Who lost this key here? I pocketed the small key, but it was so odd-shaped I had no idea what it might open. So this could be the exit. But before entering the exit, should I return? What's behind this door anyway? The safety poster had definitely seen better days. How old was that facility? Seriously, how old is it? I am just examining the remnants of a lost dynasty here. The faded paper was yellow and dusty, but there... But there it had obviously been wiped off recently. Ah. Only recently, eh? But who did it? A ladder going upstairs, as well as another room? Please forgive me, ladies and gents, if I am stating the obvious over and over and over, repeating certain words and sentences, but... It's only natural, is it not? I must be suicidal, desiring to find out what's behind that door, the locked one. Whoever lost this key probably threw it away on purpose for a good reason. But I want to obtain more evidence. Here goes nothing. The door was locked. A musty smell from inside. Can I use that key is the question. I can't, apparently. And there is no inventory button. So... Huh. Just a case of bad luck, I suppose. No use in trying to open up that. 
I already kind of realized though that certain rooms within home only exist to grant you additional info about what's going on. You don't need to examine them chambers, but if you do, you'll learn a little bit more about the protagonist's current situation. A shame that I can't open up that door. Did I by chance come across another locked door on my way here? Can't remember. I will, by the way, just as I mentioned earlier, <laughs> earlier, god knows how long ago, not play through this in one sitting, simply because the experience is very, very draining. Talking away so much, I am growing hungry, I need a cold refreshment, and all that. Aha, perhaps this one can be opened. The door was locked, I could see a faint light within. Come on now, Mr. H. You've got a key. Please, try to open the door. Uh. This sewer system just goes on forever, doesn't it? got even more blood. As well as a security camera? Aren't we getting modern now? There was a security camera in the room. There must have been a way to see what had happened. Maybe the VHS tape I found could be useful. Hopefully. I didn't dig myself through these trash bags for nothing. I couldn't help but wonder if someone was watching me from the other side. Oh god, this is a sick twisted little mind game after all. Jigsaw is watching me. Why would there be a security camera down here? It's just a sewer system. I am not willing to deny, of course, that something like this might exist, but still, it's just a sewer system. Why do you need cameras down here? What the hell? Oh my god, it's another dead body. The second one. I found another dead body. A sewer worker. He was a mess, but he looked like he'd been stabbed. With that knife, presumably, and then somebody discarded of the evidence. Am I the murderer here? Did I murder that fellow inside the building? Did I murder the sewer worker? Am I just using these environments for my own for my own gains but somehow i lost my memory i could see a key ring that had i fallen out oh that had fallen out of his pocket did i take it i worked up the nerve to snatch the key ring away and put it in my own pocket anything else I was feeling even more sick from seeing another dead man. I didn't want to get any more blood on my clothes. <sighs> so many dead people everywhere. It is depleting my precious sanity, alright. Aha! There was a hint of fresh air here. I must have been near an exit. But I wondered, what did that key I found on the sewer worker do, and what was on the videotape I found? Well, I won't leave the sewer system until I've got the answers. This time I won't just leave without having solved everything first. Show me them locked doors. I used the keyring to unlock the door. Hmm. The shelf, full of security tapes, was strictly organized, though covered in dust. Looked like the tape I found was the one that was missing from the shelf. Ooh. 
Somebody tried to hide it, to throw it away, eh? Maybe because the camera accidentally recorded the entire event? Hmm. Here goes nothing. Time to enlighten our minds. There was a dusty VCR on the security desk. I wondered... <coughs> that was a weird breathing sound. <gasps> I wondered what was on that VHS tape I found. Did I play the tape? Hmm. Be brave. Oh no. The video showed a man, right there in the sewers, being attacked. The tape looked fuzzy and stretched, like somebody had tampered with it. It looked like there could have been two men. Somebody murdered the sewer worker. But who was it? I couldn't stand to watch that video again. Could it have been me? Or is there another murderer walking about? Another as in just a murderer? Implying that I am not the murderer? But why would I kill all these people for the sake of argument? Why would I need to do that? Has it something to do with Rachel? But that fella was a sewer worker. What's the connection between a sewer worker and my wife? He remembers looking upset, and Rachel looked afraid. Why? Did I come home to tell her about the murders? There have apparently been plenty over the course of the years within Mr. Rachel's town. Maybe I did something bad in the past and the murderer is trying to punish me for it? So many possibilities. Oh, this is so foolish, I'll regret this for sure. But what's behind the door with the smell of death? I tried a bunch of the keys on the keyring I had found on that sewer worker, and one of them seemed to fit. What is that sound? Like a radio? Spitting out garbled nonsense? A collection of stale liquor, bottles covered the floor. That room didn't seem like much of a place for drinking. What was the point? Killer. The wall was littered with dozens of old faded papers. Whoever did this was obsessed with some local murders. According to some of the clippings, bodies had been found in ravines, in the forest and in one case dumped in the back of an abandoned truck. I couldn't be sure, but I thought some of these same articles had also been pasted, pasted, oh Jesus Christ, pasted up back in those tunnels. That room didn't seem like much of a place for drinking, what was the point? Somebody is studying murders, or perhaps following his own crimes? Somebody is just randomly dumping bodies everywhere? We are dealing with some obsessed psychopath here. A faded receipt was half trampled on the floor. It was from the local train station and was for two tickets. Two tickets, eh? I didn't know who... I didn't know what use it could be, but did I keep the receipt? Might be useful, might come in handy. I neatly folded the soiled receipt and slipped it into my front pocket. God. Did that sewer worker find this room? Is that why he was killed? An interesting assumption. Maybe the murderer was using all of these locations secretly? And all of them people who stumbled upon it had to die?
Oh dear, two tickets, eh? Both me and Rachel came to this town. Has the murderer been collecting more of our stuff? Oh. What the hell happened there? Just then. Did one of the pipes burst? Oh. That almost gave me a heart attack after all of the peace and silence. Oh. I regret not picking up that one picture within the mansion. Oh god. Just get me out of this murderer hideout. To the exit. Hmm. This must have been the other vent of that ventilation shaft, huh? Whoever used it could have gotten past that flooded room with this. Past the security as well. Hmm. Clever. But why go through all the trouble? Just to murder a few people? I cursed the weight of the gun as I hobbled up the ladder. Would I really need it? Or was there some other reason for wanting to carry it around? The thought of that videotape still haunted me. Who was it that didn't want to be seen? Was it the same person that hid all those newspaper clippings away in that locked room? I could have... I could. I could go no further up on the ladder and something the latch above me finally found my escape. The stench of that sewer finally abated, and I could smell old, damp pine trees. Are those eyeballs in the distance? That sound is the sound of the sewer system, right? But we have made it! Ladies and gentlemen, can you believe it? We escaped our imprisonment! Escaped the uh, sewer system, the catacombs, the large manor... Unbelievable! Yet for some reason I don't feel much better off out here within this dark, gloomy forest. As if my torment has only just begun. Out of one hole and into another. We had to abandon the picture, as well as perhaps more evidence and the knife. But still, we escaped. But what'll happen now? Can I find my way home? What else is Mr. H gonna stumble upon? You will discover all of the answers and more next time. Ladies and gentlemen, one and all, this shall be the end of session number one. You have been watching Let's Play Home. My very name has been The Shadow Cookie, aka Mr. TSC. Thank you also very much for watching, and if you enjoyed the episode, please... <laughs> well, I shouldn't say that. If you enjoyed all of the episodes up until now, please feel free to um, leave me a like, perhaps even subscribe if you desire to see more content like this. Don't forget though, it is only a suggestion, not obligation. Until next time, I shall see you all then, together with Mr. H, as well as the forest. What is this? A fence in the middle of nowhere? Not looking forward to the conclusion of this very, very grim tale.